So this is 2012, number 28. And let's point out the important things. We are told something's moving along the x-axis and the position is that. There is the position function. They want to know the acceleration when the velocity first equals zero. So obviously we need the velocity and acceleration of this. So how do you find velocity? Well, that's going to be the derivative of the position. Well, here we go. What's the derivative of sine? And everyone says, ah, that's cosine. And then we say, what's the derivative of cosine? That's going to be minus sine, but the two negatives make a plus. So we have our answer, cosine t plus sine t. We have now found the velocity. Bam. Let's find acceleration. Acceleration, you should know, is the second derivative of the position, which is the derivative of the velocity. We can do this. Well, here's the velocity. Take the derivative to get acceleration. What's the derivative of cosine t? That's minus sine t. And what's the derivative of sine t? Oh, that's cosine t. So now we have found acceleration. And we're trying to get to the answer. This is why it's crazy. So that's the first, that's just your calculus. That's straightforward. We can do that. Now let's keep reading. We want the acceleration when the velocity first equals zero. And I want to point out time starts at zero and gets bigger. So your t starts at zero. Now, do you agree for velocity, which is cos t plus sine t? We want that zero. Why? Because it says when velocity first equals zero. So in order for this to be zero, don't you agree cosine and sine must cancel out? So they must be the same number, but just one's positive and one's negative. So the question, where on the unit circle are the cosine and sine the same, but different signs? You should have said pi over four, three pi over four, five pi over four, seven pi over four is the only place where the cosine and sine are the same, but they're opposite signs in the second quadrant and the fourth. So here's the cosine, here's the sine. Here's the cosine, here's the sine. So they will cancel out. Which t do I use? Do I use three pi over four or seven pi over four? I am so confused, there's two places. What's the answer? Well, let's read the question. It says first equal to zero. Time starts at zero. So we start at zero and we go around until we first equal zero at three pi over four. So this answer will be t equals three pi over four for the first time it equals zero. They want to know the acceleration at this time. So they want a at three pi over four well, I'm going to plug 3 pi over 4 here and here. So we have minus sine of 3 pi over 4 plus cosine of 3 pi over 4. You need to know your unit circle. That's going to be radical 2 over 2. And cosine of 3 pi over 4 is going to be negative radical 2 over 2. So I have negative one of those, negative one of those. I owe two of those. I have minus 2 radical two over twos. Because I have negative one there, negative one there, so I have negative two of them. The twos will cancel, and this huge, long problem, which is crazy, is negative radical two, which is A. That's not an easy problem. A lot of 